and it seems that the outcome is we are going to see a runoff between Mark Loram and Andy Galvin for the final. Chatting to Alan Moggridge there, very unlucky in the final, of course. His engine has seized, his second one tonight. So, desperate bad luck, an expensive evening for Alan Moggridge. So we await the final runoff between home favourite Mark Loram and Hackney captain Andy Galvin. So a tense, nerve-wracking runoff now. And in a way, really, a capping finale to a thrilling night speedway here in this fault-length 16-lapper. A nerve-tingling runoff. Mark Loram, who kept his call brilliantly in Heat 20 of the National League Riders' Championship when he scorched a victory there, despite a delay. His testament, his nerve will be tested again here. Andy Galvin, of course, who knows all about pressure in these kind of situations. What a thrilling race it's going to be between these two. The top pair for Hackney last season. Average-wise, Lorne not had quite as a successful season as last year, but he's certainly shown some of his old form towards the end of this season. And his supporters, the majority, of course, cheering off for Mark Lorne in this runoff. Lorne's last chance to win a big individual at Foxhall Heath, certainly in the National League. So here we go then, the runoff, and Galvin moving, and he's missed the start, and that could be crucial. This is just over four laps, it might be worth mentioning, and Mark Lorham has sped into the lead. Andy Galvin messing up the start there, and that could prove very costly for the Hackney captain. So Lorham leading the way, Galvin in second. And what a tense match race now. Alan Mogridge, who's out, of course, was very unlucky. Galvin's unfortunate who was about to lead the final running, and now he's got a challenge and a run-off, and he could see it slip away. Lauren will try everything he can to hold off Andy Galvin. He's well aware of Galvin's capabilities from the back. What can Lauren do? The track is ultra-slick now, and to catch Mark Lauren round here, Andy Galvin is going to have to pull something very special out of the bag indeed. Mark Lauren is hard enough to catch at the best of times, let alone on an ultra-slick home track. So Lorham speeding away to victory now on the last lap. This is Galvin's last chance on the third and fourth turn as Lorham comes in. He's in trouble there and he's down. Mark Lorham has crashed out. Thankfully, Andy Galvin wasn't immediately behind him. He's gone through on the inside to victory. Desperate bad luck for Mark Lorham. We've got to take another look at that. Well, nothing's predicted until the chequered flag in Speedway. It looked so much as though Mark Lorham was heading for victory and all of a sudden, a terrible mess there for Loram on that third and fourth turn. His wheels seem to buckle underneath him. He's gone crashing to the ground. Andy Galvin sweeping through on the inside, fortunately missing Loram. Loram demolishing the safety fence there. And Andy Galvin will come across and take the checker flag and victory. So Andy Galvin making his way back round to the scene of the crash. Mark Lauren back onto his feet, thankfully. The safety fence will be repaired. Alan Mogridge trotting his way over there with Paul Whitaker as well. Towards Lauren, who hopefully he's OK. He's dusted himself down. There's Paul Lauren there on the left-hand side, Mark's father. Looking rightly concerned, but hopefully his son will be OK. So certainly a thrilling finish to an exciting meeting. Breathtaking climax. They've got to carry the bike back. And the wheel or the forks are damaged there. Could be the cause of it. So we... Bad end, sad end for Mark Loram. Thankfully he's OK. We now await the presentations. We now wait for the presentations. A footnote, incidentally. You may remember Steve Schofield crashing out on the final. Eight man in the final heat. Well, Steve Schofield, would you believe, laid his machine down to avoid a rabbit. The referee wouldn't believe him. The rabbit's nowhere to be seen, so there's no evidence. But the little terror tore across the track, and Scoey got his machine down quick. And he ended his chances. So bad luck, Scoey. David Norris, though, picks up £100 and third place. What an excellent meeting young David's had. One of the success stories of the Greenbridge Eagles season, David Norris. So congratulations to him. £200 and runner-up for home favourite Mark Loram. Coming capping another exciting, successful season for the Witches Heat leader. 
Congratulations to him. A bottle of champagne as well from Mike Weston, his promoter. And the popular winner of the Fort Rent 16 lapper is the Hackney captain Andy Galvin. No stranger, of course, to success in individual tournaments. And he's got to get back to the top of the podium once again. So trophy, champagne, galore. And just after his victory tonight, we had a chat with Andy Galvin and Mark Lauren. That wasn't it. I lost count of how many attempts we had to get there, but at the end of the day, 500 pounds better off and the winner. Yeah, that's right. Um, 500 pounds is nice to win, but uh, I think they should call it a 32 lap because I mean all the stops and starts we had to do it was like very tiring, but it worked out in the end. It worked out in the end for you, okay? Did you think you were going to win that the one time? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I dropped a couple of points in the meeting going into the final, but. Um, it was all off the back grid, and I mean, I'm not very fit myself, you know. I thought I thought Mark would have won it overall. And Mark, of course, a lot of bad luck for you. What happened? Fault leg broke going into the corner, and like my wheel just went one way, opposite way to what I wanted to go, which wasn't too good, you know. I thought I had it saved at one stage, but <laughs> but then it went totally the opposite way again. I just like bailed out big time. So it was some race, wasn't it, one way and another? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I don't honestly think okay, it's normally all right, but it's a bit hectic and a bit, you know, a bit scurry. Did you, um, we got the impression perhaps some of the rides were going too fast, too quick. That's right, too yeah. Soon. I was like hanging back because I went on the front grid anyway. And like they was all going for it and it was really like pandemonium in front of me. So I just hooked back a bit and hopefully I, I hoped I was going to come stronger in the later laps, which I did start to do. But then um, my guy's bike seized, which is a bit unfortunate, you know. So, you know, it's one of those things really. So you must have thought right up until the final corner that was yours. That's right, I was on the outside and I was... I was in the dirt and I managed to get the run round and I thought that was going to be mine for a minute but then everything went wrong so never mind. Well it's a bit of bad luck but nonetheless you survived where a lot didn't and you were second. That's right yeah I mean it could have been the other way around it could have been you know I mean me and Andy the other way around but um, at the end of the day you know it's what it's all about so you know I enjoyed it it was good. Thank you Mark and Andy that was good stuff for the crowd wasn't it? Well yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because it, it's nice to get a good one under my belt here anyway, because uh, this is not one of my favourite tracks. I always seem to have a few crashes and laughs and that, and I don't, don't like doing that. So it's nice to get a good one in. I had a lot of luck, though. Mark had a lot of bad luck, so... Well, it's congratulations, Andy. Well done, and well done, Mark. Thank you. Well, they've got their monies, their trophies, and their girls, by the look of it. So I'm sure Andy Galvin will oblige and try and get that champagne cork popped. It will come if he tries. There he goes. So well done, Andy. Congratulations to the other two. We say good evening from Foxhall and rerun videos, and we'll see you again in the near future.